Welcome lads, we are back for another video. Today we are looking at 81 rated in form card Depreville. He has got 86 pace with 80 shooting, 77 passing, 82 dribblings, 37 defending and 70 physical. With 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. This card is okay. He's quite quick. He's not very strong, his dribbling is okay, his shooting is okay, his passing for a cam is not really up to snuff in my opinion, but a very average, very kind of discard value, even though at this point in time he's going for around 20 to 21,000 coins, but when that SBC leaves in a day or so, he'll drop down to around the 10,000 mark, and I don't really think he's worth using. I, I don't think he's that great. I had success with him, I scored a lot of goals with him, but once again, it was against opponents that you could probably stick a bronze player in there yeah, and you would score goals with him. Anyways, now let's check out some in-game stats. Looking at this guy's skill stats, he's got okay ball control at 80, with 83 dribbling, 81 finishing, 82 shot power, 79 short passing, 72 long passing, and 78 long shots. Now when we look at this guy's physical stats, he's only got 83 attacking positioning, 62 strength, 83 sprint speed, 89 acceleration, which is the one good stat really that's because when you've got 83 agility, 77 balance, 71 jumping, I mean the stats are very average and it, if anything they're kind of below average. The finishing is okay, the shot power is okay, the passing for cam is frankly a little too low for my liking. It's not even above 80 in any of the important passing categories. He's not strong. Is acceleration, if you definitely if you stick like a hunter card on him or any sort of thing that's boosting up the pace, you're gonna get high pace on this guy. And as pace is so important, that's the thing that makes this guy an okay player. I scored a lot of really nice goals with him, but the stats don't really back it up. But now let's check out some highlights. As we can see here, he plays a lovely little one-two and he gets into a very good position. And his pace is what makes this card, in my opinion, usable. I can't use players that can't pass, can't shoot, but if they got pace, you're always going to be able to create chances with him. Now, he doesn't put every chance away, I mean, this is a good position and he scores a goal. It's not like that he's awful. His stats are not awful, he doesn't play awfully. If anything, I felt that he played a little bit above his stats, but once again, I'm not playing against exactly stellar opposition. So you really got to take that kind of how it is because, you know, he's not a player I would take into a Division 1 game or a high-level foot champs game because the strength is a big letdown. He's way too weak and he doesn't have that pace that goes by people like nobody's business, like the player of the month, Raheem Sterling. Now that being said, I do feel, even though his base card is a striker, that playing him at striker is you, you're going to get the best results out of him because of that kind of lackluster passing definitely if you play a lot of quick passing this guy will let you down in that area but you convert him to a striker then you've got a great player well a kind of good player let's not go with great now the point is why would you convert him to a striker there are so many better options out there and that's kind of what i felt with this guy if you want to play for him for some reason I would say convert him to striker, you're going to get the best out of him. But once again, I don't really recommend using him. I really felt that he just wasn't very good at all. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.